Hello and welcome to Round 3 Front 9 coverage of the 2024 Seneca Spring Fling presented by Discmania and Down South Discs. Catch cam today is Tommy Patterson. Drone footage from Jonathan Munro. And your commentary team is Ish Omer and Ryan Mon. On the card today we have Ryan Mon from Simpsonville, South Carolina. Austin Bates from Whitmore Lake, Michigan. Martin Neese from Jackson, South Carolina. And Harper Thompson from Brentwood, Tennessee. Hole one on the Seneca Championship course is a par three, 340 foot rip across the athletic fields. And it has a continuous slope downhill all the way to this basket, which is elevated. Be careful with those early putts. First up, we got myself throwing an ESP buzz. Got a tight battle after two rounds. Yeah, it's a little bit of a headwind, so my guy just flipped up and turned. I love that spot. This one. Yeah, it was really windy on Sunday. Pushed that uh that storm front out from the day before. Yeah, after I threw my shot, I looked back and everybody was just changing their desks in their bag. Hear me in the background there again. Austin's pulling out a quake here. Oh, that looks money. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't see that thing turn late. <laughs> and most of the people I saw here, it was a left to right kind of crosswind more than it was, you know, tail or head. Mm -hmm. Martin also going quake. It's a good putt. Harper's going the straight putter, and I think it's a PA1, so overstable putter. It's also pretty cold this morning. It was about 43 when we started. Mm -hmm. So we probably tell everybody I'm wearing a little more clothing than last round. About the time y'all finish this hole, I'll have the, uh, the seat heater on in my truck. So I have no look from the woods right here. Got to pitch a forehand. And Ooh, very nice. Mm -hmm. Little touch forehand there. We'll see, he's got a little branch in the way. Yeah. Still got kind of a little, little floaty. Oh. That's all you're looking for from that distance, just a solid chance. Boom. Didn't think that one was going to stay high enough when he let it go. Got a pretty spinny putt, so. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, the wind said no, apparently. Mm. Maybe a little bad one. Harper for his birdie. You're going to see a lot of that this round. Boom. Nice birdie to start off. Good birdie to start off. Hold two, par three, 355 feet. The first two thirds, you're going straight. Right after you pass these posts right here, you want about a 45 degree turn to the right. Um, you want it to skip up, and the basket was a little bit of a mount. Most righties are throwing a stand up forehand. Yeah, Martin's gonna throw a nuke here, just trying to pop it up the flat and let the stability help out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sir. Hey, that's good. Oh, that's and good then he got that nuke skip too. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Harper going. I believe it's a D one, maybe a D two. 
it's always nice to bust off a big shot right after you come off a short hole. Oh, yes. Uh oh. Inside. Okay, good kick. Oh, oh great kick. kick. Wow. I'm going for this venom again. Just trying to pop it up. I got some good fade. Yes, sir. Another yeah, nice skip and a little roll. It's huh? what, edge of circle or so? Yeah, I think it's about 40 feet. Austin going with a nuke. Fast disc is a very popular play on this one. Oh, yeah. If you hit anywhere, good spot on the ground, you definitely want to have a good skip. Another nice one. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. A little friendly tree loving. I'm just surprised it had that much spin on it left after it did all that. Yeah, he's got, he's got a, good, a good amount of power on his forehand for sure. Which is a really weird spot for Harper. It's just that spot where that tree's right in the way. Where he enough wants to go forehand or backhand. Looks like he's going to line up the jump up. But jump up with like a premium plastic disc. It's weird. Oh, but it kind of holds. Myself and my birdie from about 40 feet away. Oh, just a bit short. Yeah, at first, like, real part of the rounds, I didn't get my, get my fingers open all the way since it was cold. <laughs> and that little bit of mound it was sitting on. Mm -hmm. Awesome for two. Yeah, Boom. that's a good birdie. Very nice. three and Martin and myself to tap in our threes. Drop it. Not, not really the drop-in you want, though. I don't want to drop in a par. Hmm. I like dropping in birdies. Moving on to hole three, par four, 476 feet. You want to throw straight through this gap and have a good fade off to the left. That should lead you to about here. You want to throw a forehand or a backhand, you remember? Forehand, you want to get a skip into this weird green. And uh, hopefully take a three on this one. Austin throwing... I think he throws a raptor in this one. Oh, maybe a little <coughs> too far left, but he got way down there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he'll have a little gap. Is that his buzz you just threw? I believe so. Oh yeah. It's perfect. <laughs> Harper's going to putter here. Or maybe, yeah, maybe. Yeah, look, looks like that green putter again. Just a little inside. And I'm gonna throw a, a Malta. Trying to hit flat through the gap and have the stability kick in and do the rest. Yeah. Very nice. And you're far enough off of that pole where it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Harper in a very odd spot. Most of the time I see people here, they. They just try to get super aggressive, which pays off when you can do that. Yeah. It's a really easy, easy up and down. Yeah, for sure. I'm 
I'm going with a avalanche just so I can get the skip. The zone's a little inconsistent on the skip when the, with this kind. There's a lot of stumps on the ground. Yeah, you want to kind of fly the whole way before it hits. Exactly. Byron's going to go with the Zone OS. Go, 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 go. Oh, a little just tight. a bit too tight. Hey, but it's Martin. You can hit from anywhere. <coughs> Austin from a tricky line way left. Yeah, he kind of just skipped along the walking path there. Oh, wow. yeah. yeah. That was nice. Very nice. Harper just trying to jump putt up for his, for his par. Ooh. Hit my disc. Buzz in the tower. Now it's on you. Uh oh. Let's go. Oh, you love that on his hand. <laughs> Knew it the whole way. Those are the best selling putts. Good par from there, from the rough tee shot for Harper. Should be mean Austin to clean up our birdies. Hole four, par four, 488 feet, dog leg right. You want to uh, try to get down here as far as you can, but yeah, stay in the middle off the tee. Uh, the second half of the hole has a huge ravine to the right, so you want to stay left of that. Land flat, the green is pretty treacherous as far as landing flat. Most guys are going to be throwing a forehand off the tee pad here, all the righties at least. Looks like that's a little bit inside, but still in the fairway. Martin's throwing a nuke here. Kind of stands up and, yeah, I'm like, oh, a little far. Oh, man. I know. I'm going to force. Um, I went nuke OS in the last round. I think the force is the better play. Good skin. Very nice. Oh yeah, a nice little jump put up shot there. Uh, I think it's a little short. <laughs> that, yeah. A jump put up shot on this one would be really, really hard. You gotta get so far right to do that. But if you had a hundred, if you have a hundred and eighty foot jump put, you could probably do mine. Yeah. Forehand needs to get stable, I think. Yeah. Cool. Pushes a little too oh, straight. Yeah, still got an angle at. And it's mostly open. Mm -hmm. And like once you make this turn. <coughs> now is that his A2 or A3 he's been throwing? I think it's the A3. A3, okay. <coughs> Sit soft. Looks like it. That is an interesting line. A lot of angles. Yes, on that. sir. I don't know how I did up there. I don't know. I missed the second part of that. Oh, that looks good. If it sits, I don't know if it's gonna. Ooh. Might go down the right. Got a little zone approach here. Just trying to throw it pretty soft. Let the disc do the work. Mm -hmm. And it sits down yeah. nicely. Looks like a skip, but hopefully it sat flat. Mm hmm. It's about, I think mine's probably about 15 away. Austin. 
Oh, man. Harper from down the hill for his birdie. That's a oh, Ooh. Oh, that was a big putt. That went sick. Substantially uphill. Mm-hmm. Martin for his birdie as well. Now look how dry that ravine is today after exactly, yesterday's yeah. filming. I was surprised. I think it was Martin. running water yesterday. Yeah, I was surprised to see Martin just lay that one up. Some reason Harper told me to go, so I went. <coughs> Harper for his bar. Me three, everybody else four on this one. We won the whole five. It's a par three, 320 feet, uh, pretty straight with minimal fade at the end. Uh, the play is either a putter or a mid range straight at this tree with this uh, purple rope, uh, sorry, pink ribbon on. And he's going to gently fade off that. Throwing a breaker here. Austin's gonna go with this straight zone he's been throwing. Martin's going with a quake here, over still mid range. This one's pretty pretty beat up, just straight. And it kind of yep, that perfect line, right at the big tree, and oh, the that's the one you're supposed to miss. Yeah. Looks like our catch cam's in danger zone again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you'll notice a theme here. Every time Tommy stands in a spot, I I almost hit him, or somebody almost hits him. You stand in like the perfect spot. Going back to that overstable putter again. Maybe a little inside, but sneaks through to a putt though. A little pitch up here. I was debating this or a jump putt, but uh. He wanted to. He wanted to that was up in the air. Martin for his birdie. Stay up, stay up. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Well, like it just never fell out of the sky. There's that train again. From oh, wow, yeah. Part. And it was on uh, like near 13, the same right? holes. I guess only the, these very back holes. Can you hear it? Oh, all? yeah, I guess so, yeah. Because we heard it on, what, six or eight yesterday? It was 13. It's going to be clean up for their pars on this one. Another official Mama Mon sighting. 
06, part 4, 409. Uh, most uh, righty backhands are going to throw a big turnover that finishes left at the end, or if you want to just lay up and get an easy three, just kind of mid-range toward the middle, another mid-range up to the basket, easy three. It was, def yeah. it was definitely enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm going forehand with a force here, just trying to rip over it. It's very overstable for forehand, and just needs to get back to hyzer. I got a good little skip. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ooh, on the edge. Almost a little too much right. Still got a good angle at the green. Yeah, for sure. Austin, doing some type of driver. I think he's probably going for the eagle on this one. Mm -hmm, of course. Just anything through the gap that turns hard right. Yep. Oh, boy. Hopefully he's got a stance. It is thick over there. Yeah, it's a lot of just like tree. It's like a tree every single yeah, it's six thickness. inches over there. Down with the thickness. Should be Martin next. He's going with the nuke. Try to go for the eagle again. Makes a turn though. Oh, not quite turn enough. That's the trick on this one, is you gotta make that gap before it turns. Mm -hmm. Harper is also probably looking for the eagle here. Is he gonna disenchant right hand, or is he gonna mark his forehand? He's gonna go with the, he's gonna go for the eagle. Most people are. Oh screen. yeah. He just get a little late stability. Did the MJ walk off? That's when you know it's good. <laughs> yeah. I've never seen MJ's putt spit out when he does that. Like he puts it and it like looks down. I've oh yeah. Seen, I've never seen. His I can't remember where it was. There's several of them on video. Okay. I'm sure we could get on the YouTube's. Four hundred roller. Oh, he didn't. He he didn't go that far in there. Yeah. At least he's got an option to get up there. Mm -hmm. He's got a chance to save something. Yeah. So you're saying there's a chance. Oh, it hit like a stick on the ground, it sounded like. It sounded like it just took a little bit of pop off of it. Yeah. It looks like he's still up there. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Hopefully that sat flat. I think it did. Oh, yeah, this is that thickness I was talking about yeah. right here. He's going like... Super high. That maybe. is the Hobbit's layer. Tomahawk. Don't roll, don't roll, don't roll, don't roll. <laughs> it's gonna roll. He's still gonna put at it. Yeah. Pretty decent out from there. Harper for Eagle. Strokes on folks. No. It's a sit though. I think it's like 15 feet away. Oh, yeah, definitely. Woo! That was a sick birdie. Back where he was at? Yeah, oh, yeah. A scramble Good birdie. Yeah. <laughs> Good putt there from Martin. One of the easier ones in the course to get the birdie on. So as long as you don't mess up extremely on the tee pad, you'll be you'll be good. Nice. 
Nice birdie. Doing like a whole seven par three, 226 feet. Uh, there's a gap left and right. You'll mainly see the right side. And uh, just want to get over this creek. And then just sit down wherever you can, really. Before the creek isn't too bad either if you are close enough to the basket. I'm throwing a, a breaker here. Just want to throw it through this gap flat and have it stable out of hand. Ooh, just enough mustard, Bill. Yeah, just just enough. <laughs> it's like about 20 feet away. Very nice. Another. Very close. <laughs> Especially when you can't see it, Bond shot off the tee. It's like you have no idea how close it was until you yeah. watch this back. You're like, oh. Gotta so read, like read the I, cameraman. Every time I throw this hole, I'm like, oh, I, how, how do I not go that far past? Because I hit like barely in front of the basket. Oh. Uh oh. Sit, 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 sit. Yeah, okay, well, at least cool. inbounds. He might even have a little butt there. I think it's like a 60 footer. Yeah. At least a wide open look. Mm -hmm. Except for that gigantic tree. Very nice shot. Harper for like a for like a sixty footer. Oh, oh wow. baby, yes sir. Yeah, that's a good putt. Oh. First kind of like real putt of the round here. All the other putts I've had in the other holes have been essentially some drop-ins. So I want to take my time and knock this one down. Oh, no. Did I miss it? Splash left. Not a good par when you're uh, over safe when you're safe over the creek. Good par there for Austin. Hole 8, par 4, 495 feet. Um, you want to throw something off the tee pad that lands right here at the turn. Uh, hugging the right side is a little bit better where you can get a full throw for your second shot. Um, if you do have a full throw on your second shot, you can go straight at the basket or uh, down the right side and hyzer at the end. Yeah, this gap's a little weird. So that um, predator again? Yeah. This fairway's a little weird. There's a lot of trees in the fairway. Yep. So if you throw a good shot, you can still... Either hit one or if you throw a bad shot, you can still get through. Yep. A lot of options. Definitely a small gap there off that first shot. Mm -hmm. You want to throw it kind of where that cameraman is. That's the gap that I try to go after at least. Mm -hmm. I think Harper's going fairway driver here. Rips it. Flat, maybe baby Annie. That'll work. Oh, yeah. That was a good kick on the mystery. A little Malta here. Trying to hit his initial gap and get left at the end. Oh, boy. Yeah. A little early right. Yeah, it's going to be a little pitch out, though. So as long as you don't kick in the in the river, it'll be like far yeah. off to the right side. Yeah. You should be fine. You're not gonna roll away on the green. Oh, everybody's hitting so the tree. 
sentries. Rough hole. Yeah. He's close to the short pad, though, so he's probably about 30, 50 away from the bin. Well, hopefully it'll be an easy just chip out and chip up and tab in. Exactly. Okay, yep. Yep. Just out so, to the middle. I was going to go four and roller, but my mom said don't go four and roller. <laughs> Got to listen to the caddy. Yeah. Just pitching back to the middle. Austin, very odd spot right here. shot weird spot right here don't know what to throw didn't know what to throw for a little bit forehand turnover looks like that works pretty good yep. especially for not knowing what to throw yeah, I was thinking about doing the backhand wide but it was a little muddy I wanted to do a standstill oh man Austin for his par, I believe. Oh! That's it, that's it, that's it. Oh. That's that. Good three for Harper. Heat low, 2022. Yeah, hole 13. Yeah. No idea what they're talking about. Context. They don't need to be blessed. Bless Mark. We're talking about that during twenty twenty two DSDO, Jake and Joey were just shredding. Like, oh yeah, shredding. Also, I mean, final round, they're like, "You take the win, then you take the win." They just, they just gave it to each other. Hole nine, par three, two hundred seventy-six feet, two lines. Either down this left side, the drone is flying and have it fade with the forehand, or now switching to the right line, either a backhand or a turnover forehand down that line. But, uh, with a creek on the left, I prefer the. Uh, the right side line. Harper's going some putter on, on this side. Eyes are full up. It's like, oh, yeah, very it's clean. Sick. Very nice shot. I don't think I've seen very many putter shots here go past the basket. Mm -mm. I'm going forehand turnover. Trying to avoid the mistake I did last round. <laughs> Weave in the basket. Yeah, I hit a branch out of my hand. Yeah. And it's gone. Oh, behind the tee pad. Oh, that's yeah, that's all you gotta do is hit that branch off the tee pad. Yeah. Out of my hand. This is my last one too. I mean, the Volta on the left side. Martin think through all his options. Why not? <laughs> what I want to go right. Uh. <laughs> Looks like Austin to throw a forehand here. Probably down the left side, I think. Not 
Nice putt. That's a good two right there. It's good turkey as well. Yeah, putter, 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 deuce. It's always solid. Austin for his two. Mm -hmm. Myself for my two. <laughs> After the front nine, Ryan went four down, total of 23. Martin went three down with a total of 22. Austin had two down with a total of 21. And Harper had five down with a total of 21 also. It's getting very tight. We'll see you on the back nine.